Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about controlling the grubs that you may have in your lawn. And some of you are watching this and you don't know whether you have grubs in your lawn. Um, if you don't, let's talk about how you can figure that out. Um, if you suspect you may have grubs, we'll talk about that too. So the first thing that you might notice is, um, I'm going to attach a photograph while I'm talking. You might notice some areas of the of the lawn that are being dug up, usually by skunks. They'll uh, dig up the grass to eat the grubs. You'll see these small little holes that they'll make because they can smell them and they'll dig down and they'll eat the grubs. If you, if, if you don't do anything to your lawn to prevent the grubs from killing your grass or from multiplying beneath the, the, beneath the grass, having skunks dig them up is probably, I guess, the best thing you could have happen to you because they're eating the grubs that are going to kill your grass. What the grubs do is they eat the roots and um, you know, these grubs are larvae of you know, the Japanese beetles or some other beetles for example, that's what they are. And they'll eat the grass roots and once they wipe out the grass roots then you'll see the grass die on top and you'll have patches of grass that I'm also going to show you here in this photo that are that just look like they're the patches are dead and um, and what's happened is is that the roots had been eaten by grubs so what you want to be able to do is is apply a treatment that will control these grubs to prevent this from happening so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this uh, product here made by Jonathan Green is there grub and insect control uh, product that I'm going to apply using the uh, my spreader here, rotary spreader. This happens to be a Jonathan Green spreader too. Um, but this kills, this focuses on grubs, but it also kills some other insects that you may have in your lawn. It'll kill carpenter ants, for example, um, crickets, I think a few other things. But the main focus for this product is grubs. So I'm going to um, get this into the spreader. I'm going to apply it. Uh, to the areas that you can either do your whole lawn or apply it to areas where you typically find the, the grub problems. And then afterwards, I'll do a follow-up video where we can see what happens as we get through the months of July, for example, which is when I usually uh, spot the grub damage. Anyhow, let's get this thing in the, in the, uh, in the uh, spreader in just a second. Okay, you want to take notice of all the different spreader settings. They'll list the various types of spreaders that you may have, and we'll provide the uh, the setting that you need to to spread this product. I'm going to show you some specific grub damage that I've had in my lawn. This whole area here was bare, and it's starting to grow back now. But last year, this thing got wiped out by grubs over here too. This area was all hit with grubs. I have a lot of spots like this on the grass and this is why we're going to uh, put this product down now. All right, we've got it down before the rain, and um, which is good because you need to have some water added afterwards. You don't want a total washout though, so if you're expecting heavy rains, you don't want to do it before a heavy rain because it'll just wash everything away. Um, interesting though, it's this product is natural, safe for kids and pets, and um, smells a little bit like tea tree oil. I guess um, maybe I can find the actual ingredients in here, and then would 
kind of lead me to believe that it's similar, but uh, it has that that natural smell to it. It's different. It doesn't smell like fertilizer. It smells like something natural. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on the grass, and I'll do a follow-up video, like I said, just to see whether I get grubs this year because I've been getting them every year. And let's hope that, uh, and I'm fairly confident, this product will do the job as it's just starting to rain. So I appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Helps out the channel. And if you want to buy the product, I'm going to leave a link down below in the first pinned comments and also the description. Thanks for watching, everyone. And follow the uh, lawn care series that I have. All the videos on taking care of your lawn. I'm going to put that down here at the end of the video as well. Thanks. Bye.